Hey, hey, and welcome to Fun Swedish and our YouTube channel. Today we're gonna go to the supermarket because a lot of our students say that the place where they practice the most Swedish outside of our lessons is actually in the supermarket. So today we're gonna learn some phrases and some words that is very useful when you go to the supermarket in Sweden. In Swedish, the word for supermarket is this one, mat affär. Mat means food and affär means store. So basically it's food store. But what happens is that we very often don't say mat affär when we want to go to the supermarket. Instead, we say directly the name of the supermarket. And one supermarket that's been really, really good with branding is actually one called Ica. So sometimes we just say, jag ska gå till Ica instead of jag ska gå till mataffären. Even if we don't go to Ica, maybe we go to Lidl instead. But sometimes we still say Ica. So we kind of associate Ica with the supermarket. But in Sweden, we have, of course, more supermarkets than just Ica. Another one that's very common and a little bit tricky to pronounce is this one. Hemköp. It's very common that many people pronounce this wrong and they say it hemköp in the beginning. But that's not correct because when we have a K in Swedish, K, then one of the front vowels, E, I, I, A, Ö, then the sound of the K changes more to a SH sound. So that's why we pronounce this as hemköp. Hemköp. And this word or this name actually means hem, home, köp, buy, home buy. That's basically the name of this supermarket. So if you don't want to use Ica, you can just say hem, köp. And other supermarkets that we have in Sweden is Coop, Willis, Lidl, what else? I don't know, there are more. But at least these are very common ones. And remember, you can say mataffären, but uh, most people actually just say directly the name of the supermarket they want to go to. A conversation with a Swede about the supermarket could actually sound something like this. Älskling, jag ska gå och handla lite mat på Ica. Vill du ha något? This is basically, honey, I'm gonna go and buy some food at Ica, this supermarket. Do you want something? Once at the supermarket, you might want to ask for a certain product. For example, the milk. The milk in Swedish is mjölken. Mjölken. Mjölk means milk and this en means the. We put it in the end. The milk. There are many ways to ask this, but one way could be this way. Ursäkta, var är mjölken någonstans? If we look at this phrase, ursäkta means excuse me. Var means where. Är is is. And mjölken is the milk. So far, it's quite similar to English. But sometimes, and especially in these situations, we like to put this expression någonstans in Swedish. Någonstans means somewhere. Um, in English, if it would translate this to English, it sounds a little bit weird. Where is the milk somewhere? But for us, this någonstans, somewhere, um, makes it a little bit more polite. So instead of just saying, Var är mjölken, which is more like, where's the milk? Then, if we put this någonstans, it sounds a little bit softer. It's like, excuse me, do you know if there's any milk somewhere? So that's why we have this here. You don't need to have it. You can also say, ursäkta, var är mjölken? But then maybe you need to do a little smile or kind of sound very soft and very happy in your voice. Var är mjölken någonstans? Then they might answer something like, Den är längst in i affären, which basically means it's in the back of the store. And as you know, they always tend to put the milk in the back of the store. So you kind of need to cross the whole supermarket and get tempted to buy all these other products as well. Den är längst in i affären. It's in the back of the store. And once you arrive to the milk, you need to be extra careful. Because just because it says mjölk on the package, doesn't have to mean that it's actually the milk you're looking for. In Sweden, we have this thing that is called filmjölk. And this is something you don't want to put in your coffee. Basically, filmjölk is fermented milk, 
we normally eat this um, in the morning with some cereals or some kind of uh, jam inside. So be extra careful when you see mjölk, you should only say mjölk and not fil mjölk. So you get the right mjölk for your coffee. Even Swedes make this mistake sometimes when they just grab something very fast in the store. So I have also taken the wrong kind of milk uh, in my life. No, God, please, no, no! So, uh, but you live and learn. So remember, mjölk, milk, fil mjölk, some kind of fermented yogurt. And once you get to the right milk, it might also be a little bit tricky to know which milk you want. We have, for example, this lätt mjölk which is skimmed milk, uh, more lighter, less fat. And in Sweden, we like to have this color mark. Normally, not for all products, but normally the blue milk, the blue mjölken, that's the light version, the one with the lowest fat. And then we have mellanmjölk, which basically is the lagom of the milks, and it's also the most popular one. Mella means middle, um, so you can kind of guess that this is the one that doesn't have too much fat or too little fat. Somewhere in between. Mella, lagom, in other words. And we normally put the mella mjölk in a grönt paket, in this green package. And then we have just mjölk. Normally when I just say mjölk, it is the red one. Uh, and this is the one with the highest percentage of fat. Mjölk. Very good for cakes or some kind of pastry. Before we move on in this supermarket trip, don't forget to put a like on this video if you liked it and subscribe, subscribe to our channel. And then after you found your mjölken and all the other products, then it's time to go to Kassan. Kassan is the cashier where you pay basically. And here they might ask you different things. The first one that I'm sure most of you have heard is the one that sounds like this. Var det bra så? Sometimes you can also hear another version of it. Är det bra så? But it basically means the same thing. Was that all? Var det bra så? Är det bra så? And some of my students say that this goes really fast when I say it. And if you look at the word, it's like var, but we kind of skip the R. Det, we skip the T. Bra, we keep that. And then så. So that's why when we say it really fast, it sounds like we skip things. So that's why it sounds like that. Var det bra så? Var det bra så? And if you want to answer to this question, var det bra så? And you want to say that you don't want to buy anything else, then you can say normally this expression. A tack. Or just a. Or just nod. We like to nod. We don't speak so much in Sweden. Would you say a? A little nod would also work. But be careful, don't say nej tack, because nej to this question can confuse the person, because then basically you're saying, was that all? No, it sounds like you want something else. So to this question, var det bra så? Or är det bra så? Always answer with some kind of affirmative answer, some kind of yes, a nod, or something like that, but not a no. When you say no is, for example, if they ask you this thing, Något mer. Något mer means basically something else. Um, and then you can say nej tack. The second thing they can ask you is Är du medlem? Är du medlem? This basically means are you a member? I think that all over the world all these supermarkets have this kind of membership system. So basically it means that you get some kind of discount for certain products if you're a member. And in Sweden, uh, normally, you might need to give them your ID card or just say your ID number. This is called personnummer in Swedish, which basically is your identity number. So if they ask you, är du medlem? Then if you are, then you normally say a, ah, and then you say your number or show the card. Then the third thing they might ask you is, vill du ha kvitto? Or just kvitto? which basically means, do you want the receipt? Do you want the ticket that shows what you bought? Uh, and to this, you can just answer, ja tack, if you want it, yes thank you, or yes please, if you want it, or nej tack, if you don't want it. So, vill du ha kvitto? Nej tack, ja tack. So, to sum up, going to the supermarket in a new country can be a very exciting, funny and dangerous experience. 
but also the best place to learn new words or expressions. So when you go to the supermarket, go and listen. What do they say? And then you just copy and answer the same way. If you like this video, don't forget to put a like, like, -a, like the teenager slang is, like, -a. but also share with us your experience about the supermarket in the comment section below. Tack så mycket! Hej då! Vi ses på Ica!